dozens are dead and scores of people are wounded after what officials are calling terrorist attacks in Brussels subway and airport. Here at home, Logan International Airport was almost business as usual, except for one woman who was on her way to Brussels. But with a canceled flight from Dublin to her final destination, her eyes have been tearing up since she learned of the coordinated attacks. It made me very angry and very frustrated because there's nothing you can do about it. But she's adamant about setting an example for her children and after giving them a hug, plans to sit them down. I think it's important that you keep talking about it, that you explain that you can't uh, uh, put your life on hold because of this, because terror terrorism should never, ever win. And one woman flying to Reykjavik with a friend felt the same, but admitted Belgium would be on her mind. Um, and it's just heartbreaking, especially after you've got Paris, you've got Ankara, all of the countries you've seen it happen, and you don't think it's going to be the one that you're visiting. I would hope not. Um, but we didn't think it would be unsafe. Meanwhile, in Cuba, President Obama condemned the attacks while pledging to support Belgium in finding and bringing to justice those who are responsible. We can and we will defeat those who threaten the safety and security of people all around the world. Erica Moore, The Boston Herald.